This is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. These two terms are both used to refer to the followers of Jesus. There's the apostles, and then there's the disciples. And the best way to remember the difference between the two terms is that there are 12 specific apostles in the Gospels, and then the disciples, there's tons. There's an infinite number of people who can be followers of Jesus, but there's only a specific number of people who are the apostles. These terms, what do they mean? Apostle means one who is sent. And then a disciple is a student. So the many disciples in the Gospels are the followers of Jesus. But it says in the Gospels that Jesus appointed specifically 12 men to be his apostles. And these apostles have a specific role. They are the leaders of the church. And they're leading the rest of the disciples. Why 12? Why did he pick 12? 12 refers to the number of the tribes of Israel. And so the 12 tribes of Israel in the Old Testament carry over into the church, meaning that the the 12 apostles are the leaders of the new people of God. When, When Jesus died and rose again and then ascended up into heaven, he left the apostles in charge. These are the leaders of the church. There's 12 of them because they became symbolically the leaders of God, God's people. And as they, they went out, they were sent out and throughout the whole world. They appointed other apostles, other leaders by laying on of their hands to carry on that mission of leading the church after they were gone. Anyone who's a follower of Jesus is, is a disciple. They're a student. They're constantly learning about their faith, they're learning to love God more, and they're especially being led by those 12 apostles and their successors as the leaders of the church. Go make disciples. God bless.